Ohio Governor Mike DeWine today laid out the state's response to the coronavirus. The governor went into detail about his plan. He outlawed or canceled some gatherings while at the same time allowing for others to take place. First, the governor banned all large gatherings of 100 or more. He stressed social distancing, that people should keep six feet between them. He did say, though, that restaurants, grocery stores, malls, and casinos can stay open. He also said Election Day will go on as planned. But all schools in Ohio will close for three weeks, starting at the end of the school day on Monday. They will stay closed at least through April 3rd. In Poland, they're trying to make sure that the kids are still educated. It's our top story at 11. Quite frankly, we're just going to continue and maintain an educational experience through the digital platform. Sweeping measures to combat the coronavirus. Poland local schools making the decision to move to digital learning over the next 15 days. Superintendent David Janife is remaining optimistic. Certainly, um, this is going to be new for us at, at a K-12 level, but we're, we're going to make some lemonade out of some lemons. It'll work like this. Students will be able to log on to their digital classroom day or night and complete the posted assignments by their teachers. Janife says it can be done on a computer or even a smartphone. But if neither is an option for students... Our buildings are going to be open. We, I mean, we're going to continue to, you know, upkeep, clean, deep clean. So if we need to provide some assistance with some individuals here or there, we're certainly going to be around to do that. The help from teachers, at least in the beginning, will all be online. We just don't want to do busy work. We, we want to maintain a high level of rigor as best we can over this unique situation. I think Poland is handling it very well. They Nancy Quimby is the parent of a Poland senior. She stopped by the high school to make sure her son got all of his schoolwork and whatever else he may need over the next three weeks. He's on the track team and we were trying to find out if they were still gonna pass out uniforms on Saturday. But she says it's probably not happening. As for Janife, he knows this is a stressful time and he along with school administrators plan to do all they can for parents and even the youngest of students. We've had conversations with them to make sure and ensure that they feel safe, they understand what's going to go on, and we're going to be here when it's time for them to return. Reporting in Poland, Lindsay Watson, WKBN 27 First News.